Hi guys, James here, back again with a wonderful tutorial. Today we're going to focus on how to get a 32-bit version of the Unreal Development Kit software. Now a lot of people don't actually know this is already readily available if you've downloaded the software, but if you're like me and download the icons and the shortcuts and the, the setup files to the desktop, in many cases you won't find it. Um, so I'm going to teach you guys how to get to that today. Um, make sure you guys go ahead and check out my app on the Android store, which is, you know, of course, Google Play now. Um, be sure to check that out. It's already got four likes uh, in the Android, uh, or I'm sorry, Google Plus link here. Uh, it's also got some likes in Twitter. Uh, at least I know I liked it in Twitter. Um, so, uh, yeah, be sure to check that out. Uh, download is absolutely free. It is a social networking app. Very new. For the Android marketplace um, so definitely go ahead and check that out while it's free all right so let me go ahead and go through the credit thing that I usually do and let's start the video okay hello once again James here let's go ahead and get into it um, as I said before, we are going to work on how to get the Unreal Development Kit front end to work for you guys. Um, if you don't know what the front end and basically front end is, it is basically a uh, hub, a central hub for everything you're going to need to put your game together, to um, break it down, turn it into an executable, that sort of thing. Here is the editor itself. It is the Unreal editor, and it is a 32-bit version of the 64-bit version you automatically get when you. Um, download the shortcut so I'm gonna show you how to get to it now we come down here to your start menu select all programs now normally you'd start up here you just go down until you see the unreal development kit as you see here I've done some work in unity uh, I'm more used to unity than the unreal development kit or UDK as it's more commonly known as so you click that click that second folder that pops up and normally what you would do is you would click the tools folder now the software that you're going to need is actually going to be sitting right in here unless you have moved it or something has happened to have had moved it um, normally what I do is when I have to you know reinstall it or for some reason or if I go ahead and switch out machines or something like that the file is here I just take that actual file and move it over to my desktop but yeah you'll see it when you open that up so um, I like to keep things in my taskbar. It makes my desktop less cluttered as you see it is here now. This is actually the APK for my Android app. Um, so we click this. You would usually put it on your desktop and we click yes to get it up and running. Now here is the front end and you'll click the Unreal ED icon here, the nice blue um, neon box looking interesting graphic design here and that's gonna start up what we need to have running for the UDK that's gonna pop up here I'm gonna close this because I don't need it anymore and now we're gonna have that run now normally you'll notice if you start the 64-bit uh, version it literally it stops at I can't remember what system it stops at when it's in the loading sequence um, but I think it's some light based rendering property or function that it needs to uh, render out for the games or making the games you know systems uh, but you'll see here you have the 32-bit version dx9 running version 9953 that is awesome unreal editor hasn't updated the game's asset checkpoints uh, file in a while I will do that later <laughs> wait a day so that's gonna finish loading definitely gonna have to go ahead and uh, update this and you see here we have our 32-bit version now for those of you who are also running the 32-bit version if it is still slow on your system um, deleting too many things is not gonna help you much uh, you can definitely go through and try defragging your machine and um, you know running you're running the disk cleanup and you know restarting your computer but if it's still slow try working with the light system here hold on just a second I will try to select this I don't know why it's choosing not to work for me today uh oh okay select this light bulb and we're going to right click and we're going to cut and that gets rid of the light 
Now that, keep in mind, is not the appropriate way to just delete something, but for the purposes here, just know that you have to delete it. Um, now, what it does is it actually takes, you know, that, that light actually is very taxing on your machine. If you can see here, it's running much smoother than it just was. So, that being said, that's how you get the 32-bit version of UDK on your system up and running. Now, you guys have a fantastic day. Be sure to go ahead and download my app, VHub. And if you have any specific requests for something you'd like to see, just let me know uh, down below in the comments, very specifically. You guys have a great day. I'm going to go shoot a video for my other channel, uh, my more animated one. And you guys have peaceful times. Until next time, Dragonware out.